Before generating drawings in AutoCAD structural detailing, it's important to give each component a unique mark or part number. This unique mark or part number is based on the component's length and size. So two components with exactly the same section size and length would have exactly the same mark. Therefore, it would only have one drawing. So in the object inspector here, what I'm going to do is remove things that I don't want to give uh, marks to. And then we'll select all of the items in here. So we'll literally um, select all. And I'm going to run auto positioning. So I'm going to accept all of the defaults here and it's going to basically use the family names uh, to actually position these items. So what that means is beams will be prefix B, columns C and so on. So we'll go ahead there and run the positioning. You can now see that plates, columns, beams have a unique mark. So if I now go to the positions ribbon here, what we could do is go to families here and we'll then see a list of the plates for example. So I'm going to generate some automatic drawings of these plates. And the first thing we'll do here is choose our template. So I'm going to run with a 1 to 5 template here that's only going to generate plan views. Um, we'll ask it to put many drawings or many positions down on a single sheet rather than have a separate sheet for each uh, item. We're interested in plates here. So we'll add a 1 to 10 scale in there. And we'll choose a drawing sheet that we want to run with. I'm just going to basically now uh, tell it to generate all uh, plate drawings here, even if there's no machining on them, and we'll go ahead here and actually generate those. So you can see Structural Detailer goes through that fairly quickly, generating the details. And if we now go and observe the drawings that it's generated here, yeah, we can now see those five plates uh, detailed up. Yeah, you can see it makes a very nice, neat and tidy job of actually detailing the plates. Um, now the exception here of course is you can see that it's um, detailed up um, a plate here that has chamfers on and it's using angles. So you can actually get in and edit these quite easily. So if I actually go and find um, that drawing for plate number 5, we can open it up in the additions layout. And in the additions layout we can make changes to the way that the, the uh, dimensions are actually laid out by default. So I could just clean these uh, drawings up a little bit, maybe like this. Um, we could put um, our own set of dimensions on if we want to. So if I add a dimension in here, you'll see that ASD automatically takes care of dimension scales. And if I now go back to my drawing sheet in here, oops, this one here, you can now see that it's updated that view. So what I need to actually do here is add a bit of materials in as well. So I can do that. What I'm going to do here is ask it to generate a, a list of plates. And it only will generate a list of plates that are actually in the drawing. So I have five uh, plates there. And if we now have a look at the information carried in here, because I'm only carrying a plan view, you can see that it's telling me the section size and the length of each plate, which is basically giving me the plate thicknesses in there. How many I need of each, the material they're, they're going to be cut from, and the weights of each component and then the total weights. So all of that happened completely automatically which is quite good. Now let's go into another type of drawing now. So what we're going to do is uh, have a look at this beam. So I can see in here that this is uh, B8, that's the number there. Okay, We'll now actually generate a drawing on this so we'll attach a document into this uh, and we'll go for a, a 1 to 20 on this beam here. Okay, and you can now see that ASD again has been able to generate those drawings completely automatically. So it's detailed everything up for us, yeah, marked up all of the drillings, dimensioned it all and so on. Now again in the additions uh, layout here I could start to make uh, changes. So certain uh, dimensions I, I just don't want it to carry. So I don't want those there. Um, and we'll do the same up over here because that's a repeat of the information. So we'll get rid of that. And what I'm going to do now is actually put this onto a drawing sheet. So if we go and find the drawings there, okay, and we'll add those as a block to the current printout. Okay, and as you can see there, I can literally just pl uh, place those in. Now, what I can do as well if I want to is actually um, break the drawing views there. So we can get ASD to break views automatically if we want to, or I can actually add my own breaks in. So I'm going to actually um, shorten an element here. OK, 
Okay, we'll literally just shorten it by, um, let's shorten it in here. Okay, and you can see it's actually now put the break in for me down there. And again, I'll do a similar thing up on here as well. So we'll go ahead and shorten this view. Okay, let's maybe shorten it in here. And we'll do another shorten up over here. Okay, and you can now see that we've been able to shorten those views. Obviously now I can fit them onto the drawing sheets like so. And we can place those views exactly where we need them. In fact, I probably don't even need that end elevation there. Let's just uh, move that, clean it up a little bit like so. Okay, if we now regenerate those, you can see um, it's been able to produce that drawing quite nicely. Now, on to other types of drawings in here. What I'm going to do is produce an overall for the scheme here. So, I'm going to actually uh, create a group from this. Yep. Okay, we'll just give that group a name. And again, here in the positions, now I'm going to create a new drawing view of this. So we'll make it uh, an isometric view in here. Okay, and again, pretty quickly you can see structural detail. It was able to make a nice 3D isometric view of that. Again, we have all of the components uh, labelled out there. We'll make a new drawing sheet. Like so. And we'll add that to the drawing sheet. And we'll just place that neatly on the sheet like so. And again, we might require a bit of materials on, on there as well. So I'm going to ask it to generate a list of section sizes that we, the projects are used here. And again, now you can see all the positions, section size, number of, lengths, materials, and so on. So pretty nice there. Um, also, we can go for um, ancillaries, like for example, a list of uh, nuts, bolts, and washers that are going to be used throughout the project. Yeah, and again, you can see all of those listed out as well. Yeah, the, the strength class of the bolts, length, total weights of the bolts. So fully detailed there, as you can see. Now, one last thing we might want to do is handle some attributes on the drawing sheets here. So what I might want to do here is actually carry some information on this beam, for example, so I can see the position number and everything else. So I'm actually going to um, get ASD to put some automatic attributes in here. So we'll bring these items in, and you can see we have those attributes in there. Th these are automatically managed by ASD. And I'll now go into the printouts here, and if I literally just um, update the printout, you can now see that it's been able to give me a total paint area, total weight for that item, part number, and so on, position number. So all in all, very productive set of uh, tools there to generate drawings automatically.